Well, hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Backroads with you. Once again, we're in the Ozarks Backroads World Headquarters garage. So today we've got the mighty Ibex, our 23 uh, CF Moto Ibex 800T back on the lift. It looks a lot like it did in the last video I did on this bike. I've got the, the rear swing arm totally off of it today. Uh, in the last video, uh, I serviced the swing arm bearings and I found out that they didn't have any grease in them at all from the factory and I had rust in the bearings. So I went ahead through the, uh, the service procedure on that video, but uh, I thought better of it and I ordered new bearings and sleeves for the bearings and seals. So today I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do a quick video, quick as I can, on uh, changing the bearings and sleeves in the swing arm. So if you need to know how to, to get the swing arm off and back on, uh, I'll put a link to my last video. Uh, I covered all of that in that video. But today we're just going to change the bearings and the sleeves, replace those in the swing arm. So stick around. We'll change the bearings in our swing arm on our 2023 CF Moto Ibex 800T. For this project, I've ordered my parts that I'm going to need. Now, I don't have a, uh, a CF Moto uh, service manual or access. I can't even find uh, where I can look up parts online for the CF Moto. So this bike is built by CF Moto in their factory in China. And uh, it's essentially a, a KTM 790 Adventure. Uh, CF Moto also builds the 790 Adventure for KTM. So most of the parts on this motorcycle are KTM parts. And these bearings, seals, sleeves for the bearings and everything in this swing arm is no exception. It's all KTM uh, uh, parts. So I just went online. I went to... Uh, Chaparral Motorsports out in California. They have an online OEM parts uh, catalog. You can look up KTM parts. And I got the seals, uh, four seals, a seal on each side, and then uh, two sleeves that run inside these bearings. And then the bearings, the needle bearings themselves. I'll put these part numbers, these KTM part numbers in the comments below for you. I'll list those part numbers. But uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get the bearings out of this swing arm right here. So here's the front of our swing arm, both sides of it right here. And uh, we're going to start by removing these sleeves. I'm just going to stick my finger in here and pull this sleeve out. On each end of this sleeve is a little collar that uh, plugs in to the end of the uh, sleeve here. I've got one out that came out on this side. The other one is uh, still in the, in the seal on the other side. If I just reach around the back, uh, I can slide it right out and there it is. So it goes on the sleeve like this on the other side. So we've got our sleeve out. That, this is what runs inside of our needle bearings. So this sleeve here is the reason uh, that I'm changing these bearings. Uh, if you remember on our last video, uh, there was no grease in here on these needle bearings and uh, there was rust. Well, I've got fretting. Uh, you, I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera or not, but there's fretting right here where the needles have been digging into the to this uh, sleeve and I can they're catching my fingernail. The needles have dug down into the metal here and I can feel ridges here where these needles have been running dry on this sleeve. And if you look at the sleeve, it, they only do it on one side of the sleeve right here where the pressure is really put on the sleeve from the weight of the bike and the forward thrust of the engine, I guess, probably. But uh, this is why I'm changing these out. I've got wear starting on the sleeves. And uh, once, once you can feel that and the wear gets started, uh, it doesn't stop uh, packing them with grease and servicing them. Not going to save this sleeve or these bearings. Uh, this bearing is going to continue uh, to wear and deteriorate. So I'm just going to go ahead and change them now. Uh, you know, it's off season. I've got the time to do it, so it's no big deal. 
These parts are not expensive uh, as parts go. They were relatively cheap. So we'll go ahead and change them out today. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is try to get this seal. There's a seal right here that, uh, that this sleeve uh, seals on. That sleeve fits in that seal. And that's what runs in that seal are the sleeves on the ends of those. I'm going to see if I can just uh, pry this out. It should pop out of there, I think. And we've got new ones, so if I tear it up, it don't matter. And there, it popped right out. This is the other side, the, the left side. And this would be the inside uh, bearing here. And it's, it's exactly the same as the outside, the setup on it is. I should be able to pull this sleeve out either side it doesn't matter whichever side I take the sleeve out or the sleeve out the the little uh, cap piece there that fits over the end is gonna stay so I'll have to drag it out of the other side so we'll go ahead and, and uh, get the seals out of both sides there that one came out I had to get behind it with a screwdriver on the outside of the bearing, this little washer set like here and also on the inside over here on the left side of the swing arm, the drive side where the chain's at. There's a washer on both sides that covers the ends of the bearings. On the uh, right side down here, uh, there weren't any washers at all uh, over the bearings. So need to keep that in mind when we put this together. I'm going to use a 18 millimeter uh, socket. This is a half inch drive. It's a cheap Pittsburgh from uh, Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh brand. Uh, to drive this set of bearings out, there's two bearings in here, uh, butted up together right in the center. And I'm just going to use this and center it up in the bearing and then take a uh, a ball paint or a, a good size shop hammer and drive these bearings out of here so i do want to make sure i center this uh this uh socket up there is a lip here in the swing arm a ledge i don't want to get on that ledge and uh, hit it with this socket. I want to just be sure I'm on the only on the bearing right in the center here. So they're starting to go. The bottom one just the bottom one just fell out. We got one of them out the bottom now. Go ahead and get this top one out. And there it is. And there is our, uh, the top bearing, drove it all the way through. I've knocked all my bearings out of my swing arm on both sides. Got four bearings out of it. But if you'll notice on these, uh, the original bearings, they have a cage inside of the bearing that holds these needles. So these needles won't fall out, they're caged up. In between the needles, you can see the cage and uh, they keep the needles from falling out. So that's the way the OEM bearings are. They're caged up and the needles won't fall out of them. These original bearings here, I could drive those back in uh, with, uh, with the socket and the hammer and these, these needles wouldn't fall out. They're retained by the cage. But the KTM bearings, are made just a little different. They don't have a cage and there's about twice as many needles in the KTM bearing here as there are in the OEM bearing because of the cage in between each needle here. Uh, there's about half as many needles in this bearing. This KTM bearing, this new bearing we're about to put in, has uh, twice the needles but no cage. So these needles can fall out. Uh, they've got grease in them right now that's, that are holding them in place, keeping them from falling out. But uh, if, I, if I put those in, if I set those uh, 
in the swing arm and go to drive and uh, hammering those in with this socket, what's going to happen is these needles are going to start flying out of here and they're going to drop out of the cage. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and remove the needles before I drive these, uh, uh, the race of the bearing in here. And then, and then once I get the, the bearing, the two bearings in place in the swing arm, and I'm happy with their location, uh, I'll just uh, uh, put some grease in here and then put the needles back in. And uh, I won't risk uh, losing my needles when I drive these in. Now that you can just, I've just got a little uh, tool here that's sharp on the end. I'm just going to run them in underneath there and just roll those needles uh, out of here. We got to have every needle to put back in. But they got grease on them, so they kind of stick together. They're not going to get away from us, I don't think. So now we've got our, our uh, race that we can drive in to place uh, with no needles in it. Well, I've got all the needles removed from my sleeves. So now I'm ready to drive the sleeves in into this uh, swing arm. So they'll go, they'll go, they'll sit inside the swing arm, one on top of the other, just like this. I'm going to drive the lower one in first. I'm going to use my 18 mil cheapo Pittsburgh uh, socket, half inch drive that I use to knock them out with. I'm going to set the center of those up on the bearing and get the bearing kind of centered up in the hole and just start uh, tapping that down and running it down through the bore. So they don't drive real hard. They drive in pretty easily. Uh, they're snug, but they're not just crazy tight. Now when I get down to where this, this edge is, this lip, I want to be sure I can stay centered on this sleeve so I don't catch the edge of the, uh, that ledge with my socket. And then once I get past it, uh, it won't jump. I'll be below the ledge. I'll be fine. So I need to drive this through uh, to where it just is just inside this ledge. There's also a ledge on the other side. I need to stop before I get out over this ledge. The, the bearing needs to sit just right below this ledge, just barely below it. So I've got, I, I can feel the ledge here. I need to go a little farther. Ooh, I think I may be there. I'm gonna roll this over and have a look at it. Okay, so I've got that driven in and it's, I stopped just below the lip of the ledge on the bottom side down here. So now I'm ready to put my upper, the other one in on top of it. So all I've got to do is just make sure I get it started straight and center my socket up on top of that. So I'm getting close. I need to go another, probably another tap or two here and I think I'll have it. You can see the sleeve is sitting just below that ledge, just slightly. And uh, we've got the same thing on the other side, down below here. It looks the same as this, so that's, that's where they need to be. That's, that's perfect right there. I've got my sleeves driven in, or my races here for my needle bearings. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and put the needle bearings back in here. I'm going to start with taking some high pressure lithium uh, wheel bearing grease uh, with molly in it. Put that in the race here where these needles are going to set. So th this grease will hold the needles in place. So I've got my pile. I got a pile of uh, needles here for a pile for each bearing. So I'm going to start loading these in and just setting these needles down in that grease. 
but I'll just set them down in that grease and just keep kind of rolling them up and loading them in as I go. We'll just make a circle and fill this thing up with needles. Okay, so I got all my, uh, my needles uh, rolled back in there in place. I used them all and they just all fit. I'm just going to take a little bit more of this grease and just kind of go over those. I just want to make sure nothing falls out. They've got plenty of grease to hold them in place. I've got all my needles back in place here in, in both sides of the swing arm. I would say replacing all of those needles, getting them back in place, it's, it's not quite as bad as a colonoscopy, uh, but it's close. I've got them all in there. I've got plenty of grease uh, in those needles to hold them all in place. I need to mention here that this is the right side of the swing arm that we're working on. There's going to be a difference between the right and the left. So this is the right side. Uh, the chains on the other is the, the chain and the sprockets on the other side. This is the right side. So we've got our, our new seals here. And uh, you can take a look at these. These will go in with uh, down like this in this orientation. This would be upside down. This is the inside. So that goes down like that. All we need to do is just drive those in flush with the edge here down to where they're flush. You can't go too far because there's a ledge to catch them uh, down there. So if you drive a little deeper, it's all right. It doesn't matter. But uh, they'll go in like that. With these needles being uh, uncaged, even though they're in grease and they're seated uh, real nice in there, I still don't want to take a chance when I go to drive that seal in that I knock some needles out. So what I'm going to do is take my new sleeves I've got the new sleeves for these bearings. Put a little grease on these, get them greased up. I've already cleaned the, uh, these had Cosmoline uh, to keep them from rusting during shipping and all. Clean that off with kerosene and dried them. So now we'll grease these up, get some grease on there. And I'm going to go ahead and, and install this sleeve. Just kind of wiggle it and work it down through all those needles into place like that. And uh, that will keep, with this sleeve in there, the needles can't come out. They're captured in place. I've already got the sleeve in the other side down here. Uh, I've got the sleeve in it, so those needles won't fall out either when I go to beating on this. So I'm just going to set my seal in place here. This is an impact socket. It's a big old thick walled impact. It's a 7 8 and it just fits. It's about the same diameter as the outside. Maybe a little bigger, but that's all right. Just like that. And these should tap in quite easily. I'm going to take my finger and put it underneath here just so that's just in case that sleeve decides to work its way out. I'll, I'll catch it. So it's down, it's nice and level all the way around. And I went just a little, little past the edge, but that's all right. Uh, it, it may have actually hit the ledge down there as far as it can go. That's what the ledge is for, so that's fine. So I flipped it over. Uh, this side here has the seal on it that we just drove in. I've turned the A-arm over, so this is still the right-hand side. This is the end. Uh, inside now on the right hand side. My uh, sleeve is still in place. This big tall socket I had, I've got no room to get a, any uh, a whack on it. So I, I went and I found a, a shorter socket. This is a, uh, a 15 16 inch half inch drive. I'm just going to set it on there like that. And then we're going to do the same procedure and uh, drive this thing down till it's flush. It kind of bottomed out on the ledge 
But that's fine. That's, that's what the ledge is for. And my sleeve stayed in place. So the last thing to do here on this right side, we've got the seals on both sides. They're driven down. They're just below the outer edge here. If I push this, uh, push this out just a little bit, this inner race, these little caps go on the ends. They just fit over the end of the, uh, of the sleeve there, and then they'll go uh, inside the seal. And the seal runs kind of in the center of them when everything's bolted up. These are centered up like you see there. I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit of a grease for what it's worth on the outside of this. Uh, of this. I know most of it's going to push off, but uh, we'll, we'll give it what we, what we can. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to push that over and do the same thing on the back side. So they're both in there and just kind of center them both up where they're sticking out about the same. This is the left side of the swing arm now. You can see the chain guide right here. So on the, uh, on the right side, there was no washers at all uh, that went in before the seal. But on the left side here, we've got these stainless steel uh, washers and one goes on each side before the seal goes on. I'm going to take the washer and put it on, slip it on. It goes over the, it goes over the sleeve and down and, and it rests on that, uh, on that ledge down in there, just like that. And then we just go ahead and put our new, uh, I can find my new seals here. Put a little grease in the lips. They come pre-greased. They've got quite a bit of grease in them, but I'll put a little more in there. And then we'll drive, drive it down just like we did the other side. The only difference over here is you got to remember to, I have to remember to uh, put the washers in over here. Okay, we're down hard on it there. We're down on that washer that we put in, which is sitting on the ledge. So it sits just below the edge of the, uh, the outer edge there. Flip it over and do the same thing on the inside. So we've got that down, got both of our seals in and both of our washers in place. All that's left to do now is uh, put these little sleeves back on the, these little uh, caps that sit on the end of the, of the uh, sleeves here. Need to go in and then push them halfway through the seal is where they sit. Slide the sleeve out just enough so I can get this on it like that and then push it into the seal. So now we can do the same thing here on the inside. Those are in on both sides. So that's all there is to changing these, uh, these bearings and these seals, the sleeves and all. Pretty simple. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little tedious, but uh, it's not hard by any means. This is ready to go back, uh, back on the bike. We've, we've done our deed here. So that's the long and short of replacing the bearings in the swing arm, the bearings and sleeves and seals. Um, the KTM bearings weren't caged. Uh, so I had to use uh, grease to hold the needles in place. It's a little more uh, delicate to do uh, bearings that aren't caged than the, uh, the caged bearings. The CF Moto bearings that came in the bike were caged, so those needles can't fall out no matter what you do. But the KTM bearings, they weren't caged. Uh, other than that, they were exactly the same parts. I measured uh, diameters and everything on all of that stuff. It was exactly the same, uh, but there was a difference in the bearings, so uh, that's the way that goes. 
If CF Moto would have put grease in their bearings when they assembled the motorcycle, uh, you know, I wouldn't have got to make uh, two videos about changing the bearings on the CF Moto, but uh, it wouldn't have hurt my feelings either. So now that the, uh, the bearings are changed and seals, the, the swing arm's ready to go back in the bike, and I can put all this back together. Uh, if you need to see how to install the swing arm and, and uh, put the bike back together or to take it apart, I've got a video that I did before this one. I'll put a link in the comments below and it'll show you how to take all that apart and put it back together. But today I just wanted to do uh, to show how to change those bearings in case somebody else uh, has rusty bearings. Why this is how you can do it. And I'll put the part numbers for the KTM bearings, all the parts that I used in the comments below. So I'm sure that watching a video of me changing bearings in a swing arm is really exciting uh, video content. But if you happen to be one of the people that in the future uh, has rusty needle bearings in your swing arm on your CF Moto, why uh, you might appreciate the video. I invite you all to come back and see me. Uh, we'll tear into something else, jump on something, go somewhere, who knows. Until I catch up with you again, y'all take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time.